inherited nephritis it is also called as alport's syndrome also called as alport syndrome now alport syndrome alport syndrome basically it's a defect lies in the collagen 4 alpha collagen 4 alpha 5 ठीक है अल्फा थ्री अल्फा फोर में ऑल्सो भी डिफेक्टिव बट द मोस्ट कॉमन इज अल्फा फाइव एंड दिस इज अ एक्स थिंग डोमिनेंट मोर देन एक्स थिंग रेसिव वेर आर दिस वन इज ऑटोजोमल रेसिव डिसऑर्डर सो बेसिक पैथोलॉजी इन दिस केस इज दैट डिफेक्टिव कोलाजन मेक्स डिफेक्टिव बेशम रेन राइट द डिफेक्ट बेशम रेन कैन अकर इन दीज थ्री एरियाज ऑफ द ग्लोमरलस ऑफ द आईज and of the ears it can lead to defective glomerulus in the alport syndrome it can lead to diffuse gbm thinning and along with that it often shows foam cells in the interstitium diffuse gbm thinning with foam cells why it form foam cell is not very clear but this is a very frequently asked question foam cells in interstitium in the eyes it can lead to anterior lens dislocation called as anterior lenticonus plus can lead to corneal opacity corneal opacity corneal opacity in the ears it leads to bilateral sensory neural hearing loss bilateral sensory neural hearing loss this whole thing makes a triad of alport syndrome it makes a triad of alport syndrome the kidney biopsy in light microscopy an em is important because it doesn't show any immune complexes fm will not show any finding so in the electron microscopy and light microscopy in light microscopy it obviously shows the same thing it's a diffuse gbm thinning diffuse gbm thinning this foam cells in the electron microscopy it shows what is called as a basket weave appearance now what is basket weave appearance See normally, if I draw the glomerulus, it will have a lamina densa and lucida. ये normal glomerulus है. Outer layer is more darker, inner layer is a bit lighter. ऐसा. Inner layer is a bit lighter. ऐसे. Now what will happen in this condition is, in the GBM, they are splitting. ये normal GBM है. It will split from between. It will like this. ऐसा. The inner layer is GBM is splitting out. There's special splitting here, I say. Because it's weak now, it'll not split out. It'll break and split out. This is normal GBM, normal GBM. And here what I'm saying is splitting of GBM. Splitting. The splitting of GBM is what gives the name of basket weave. You might have seen some weaves of the wooden basket in which you keep fruits in the home. That wooden basket has small, small wooden weaves. That's how the name came, basket weave appearance. And it's a hallmark of Alport syndrome. It's a hallmark of Alport syndrome. Hallmark of Alport syndrome. Next is congenital nephrotic syndrome. 
This topic is often taught in pediatrics, but everything is pathology, right? So let's understand this part also. Look, what happens in this condition is it's also called asteroid resistant nephrotic syndrome. So S R N S. You will read in pediatrics that in case of steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome, the first thing to also give is steroid only. Once you don't get any response after even six weeks, then you add some cyclosporin or you add calcineurin inhibitors like cyclosporin. Cyclosporin is a calcineurin inhibitor. You can also add tacrolimus. tacrolimus. So, why does it happen? Let's understand that. Suppose there is a podocyte, and I hope you all remember the proteins are nephrin, ye nephrin tha, and there is podocin, like this essay. If these proteins are absent, if these proteins are absent, okay, what will happen? There will be nephrotic syndrome right from the birth. This is nephrin. Ye wala hai podocin. Nephrin and podocin. So what happens if you look look at the proteins gene their genes their inheritance pattern pattern of inheritance the chromosome the genes are in and the clinical features we'll make, make a small table out of it the first protein is nephrin gene name is nephrotic syndrome gene 1 nphs1 This gene is NPHS1. The pattern of entrance is autoimmune recessive. Chromosome number 19 and they're partially steroid sensitive. They're partially steroid sensitive. Okay, partially steroid sensitive. Second is podocin. Gene is NPHS2. Autosomal recessive again. Chromosome number 19. And these are completely steroid resistant. Because the first one is partially steroid sensitive, therefore they have good prognosis and is also called as finish type. F I double N I S H finish type. They're also called as finish type. They're also called as finish type. Okay, the first one is nephrin. Gene name is nephrotic syndrome gene 1, short form NPHS1. Second one is porosin, NPHS2. Both are autosomal recessive. First one chromosome 19, second is 1. First one is steroid sensitive, second one is steroid resistant. The FSGS in the kidney biopsy for the second one, as I told you previously also, congenital nephrotic syndrome is so what shows the steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome. And the first one, it often shows MCD, minimal change disease. So the kidney biopsy is FSGS for the second one and MCD for the first one. MCD is minimal change disease. This is all about the congenital nephrotic syndromes and Alport syndrome by the name of hereditary nephritis.